Hello and welcome to another episode of Life in Rural Japan. Today I thought we'd have a look at something a little bit different. I've got my hands on one of these Ionix 5s by Hyundai. So I thought we'll have a bit of a look at it and see what you think. Okay, so this is it. This is the Ionix 5 by Hyundai. So they're really nice. It's all fully electric. Fully electric. This one is four-wheel drive. You can, in summer, running the air conditioner all the time, you can run about 450 k's on a charge. And it's going to set you back around about 6 million yen. These have got really fast charging on them. You can charge them from 10% to 80% in about 20 odd 30 minutes. So quite good. Now this, the door handles are very are flush. But when you walk up to the car, it notices you've got the key in your pocket, it pops out the door handles. So she's really clever. It's got really nice wheels on it. Really nice wheels nice style backs really comes down it's got vents up here it let air flow through the spoiler but all led lights on it everywhere as you would expect from a uh, electric car now the, yeah, these are really nice it is like they have the nissan I mean, aria so this is sort of this like the Nissan Aria. So it's got really good tyres on. It's got Michelin Pilot Sports. So really good tyres. Very grippy. Four wheel drive. I'll go from z zero to a hundred in about five seconds. A little bit over five seconds. So they're not a slouch. So this has got 20 inch wheels on it. So pretty big. Pretty big. But it's a nice style. Nice style car. So at the front, you can see it's all thing. It's got cameras everywhere. This thing, when you turn, when you put the indicators on, it brings a camera up, shows you where you are in the lane and everything. But all the LED lights at the front. There's no real vents because you've got an electric. You don't need cooling. So, okay. Now in the front here, when you shut the door. The seat will move forward into its position. Same thing here. You have charge ports down the bottom. You have parts charge ports in the console. Now this console, you can slide it backwards and forwards, just depending on where you want it. So you, there's a lot of space to put things. It's really nice. Now let's start him up and have a look. So I press the button. And here he is. So the dash all lights up. So it's all ready to go. So we've got 236 kilometers left. We've got 68% of battery. And we have our Navi over here. Uh, that's the thing that's the card. So here you've got all your controls. You've got your start, stop, temperature. So you can choose. Seat coolers and warmers, recycle the air, different things. You've got your vents, you've got your different modes here, you've got your different drive modes here you can change. And it's got these little paddles, I'm not really exactly sure. But here we've got auto lights and everything. And down here, this is where you put it into gear and that. So now we're in park, you press the button on here to put it into park. You turn it and it will put it into drive and reverse. Here you've got your part brake here, you've got auto hold, you've got all your controls on the door. So that's the inside. Now this has a heads up display. So when you're driving, I don't know if we can see, we here we're doing zero kilometers. So you can see when you're driving how fast you're going, and also it will tell you the speed limit of the zone you're in it will light up 
So when we go for a drive later. Now this is really interesting. When you put the indicators on, it brings up a camera and shows you where you are. So there's for the left hand side, here's for the right hand side. So it brings up and shows you where you are. So it's got cameras everywhere this car. And when you put it into reverse, if you put it into reverse, here we have, it's got the, here we, we can see the whole view of the car, where we're backing up and everything. So it's really amazing. It shows you exactly where you are, what's around you. So you can see here, we've got this, this car next to us over here. He just pulled up where he was doing the video. Over here, you've got your wipers and all that. So yeah, it's very impressive. So we'll put him back into park. Okay. Okay, so I have a bit of a look in the back. So it's like in the back. So the door handles, they just pop out. They're really nice. So even in the back, all the seats are all electronic. So the front seat sit all the way back because it comes back. So even in the back we have USB chargers, so you can charge your phones or tablets or whatever. It's quite nice in here. Got the armrest in the centre where it comes down. You have drink holders in it. So you can sit here and relax, it's really nice. So quite a lot of room in the back, it's, it's okay. You've got air conditioning vents here, so you can get some cold air on you even in, in the back. The seats are really nice, they're all perforated. So you get your heating and cooling coming through the seats. They're all nicely stitched and everything. These seats will lay right back and this ottoman will come up and support your legs when you're having a rest. So you can have a bit of a nap in the car while it's charging. So it's really cool. Okay, we'll have a bit of a look in the back. So these are all automatic openers, so you just press him and he'll open up. So it's not a bad cargo area. This lifts up. You've got all your things underneath for tyre changing and all batteries and everything. You have a thing here like where you can cover up so you, people can't see what you've got in. But it opens up really nice. Push the button and you come back down. So in the engine bay here we've got our cover with just EV on it. Now this opens up and you can put some things inside here. Not a lot of room but a little bit you can put a few things in there. So that all opens up, that holds you. You've got all your different fluids for brake and water and everything, cooling. So there's not much under here, it's pretty plain being electric. But it's all got struts on it to hold it up. It's pretty nice. Okay, so let's go for a bit of a drive. So here we just put him into driver in park, return. Now we're in drive, we're ready to go. Okay, so we just off we go. Now you can see up the top we've got our heads up display. No speed limit here, so it doesn't show us yet. It's really nice, but up here we've got the Navi. Just roll along. Look it does. So smooth and so quiet in here. It just cruises along. Top now we're in a 40 zone so it's showing us 40 kilometers an hour is the zone and we're doing 36 kilometers an hour 37 kilometers an hour so it shows us so it's very good you don't have to look down the speedo while you're driving you can just automatically see where you're going it's really cool you can see here we're turning left 
it's showing us on the road where we are and everything. It's really nice. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching the video on the Hyundai Ionix 5. Please let me know in the comments below if you would buy an electric vehicle, what you think of them, what you think of this one, and would you buy one? That's all for now. Thanks again.